14th of October 2022, and 44 migrants are crossing the Channel to England. The smugglers have packed them in tightly. Every extra person means more cash. Speaking in disguise, Goni told us he paid smugglers 3,500 euros. He's one of more than 12,000 Albanians who've illegally crossed to England in small boats this year. Goni was deported back to Albania a few days later, but his story is a common one. Videos of trips are easy to find on social media, as are smugglers' adverts for cut-price crossings. And they're tempting offers for many in the northeast of Albania. This is the most deprived corner of one of Europe's poorest countries. Wages are low, jobs are scarce, people want to escape. Albania is a small country with a big problem. The population here is around 2.8 million, yet the government says every single year since 2011, on average, 42,000 people have left. And that's turning communities like these into ghost towns. From Albania, uh, we go to Skopje. With few prospects at home, Alex is among thousands who paid smugglers to take him to the UK, where he worked illegally for years. If I have a chance, we go right now to England. Not just to England, just to move from Albania. He doesn't have no jobs, no nothing, you know. And uh, you're going to work like 10 hours for 10, 10 pounds, basically. So it's no life here. Albanians admit this lack of hope fuels migration. But the Albanian prime minister told me the UK Home Secretary's claims of an invasion aren't helpful. What uh, makes me wonder more is that I never heard an apology. Do you feel like Albania needs an apology from the UK? When you apologize, it's OK. You, it happens. When you don't and when you avoid it, then it means that you want something from what you said. So it means that there is a calculation behind it. It means that uh, you, you really are talking to, 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 to a certain uh, number of voters that want to hear this, and you are feeding them with this because you need their votes. While tens of thousands of Albanians live legally in the UK, more and more are risking their lives at sea. Without renewed hope at home and better cooperation from abroad, they will keep on coming. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Albania.